The temporary university established at Changsha also moved to Kunming and became Southwestern Associated University. The Liang's old friends from Beiping met here again. Weekend gatherings in Kunming also included the young pilot trainees they met in Huang County. Soon, Lin's younger brother, Lin Hong, also enrolled in the aviation school. Xiao Chan, a writer, recalled their Kunming parties and said Lin spoke of the deeds of the heroic pilots as passionately as she once spoke of literature. At the graduation ceremony, Liang and Lin played the role of honorary parents of these young men so far away from home. But their troubles had only begun. With prices surging, the future of the institute looked grim. Soon after they arrived in Kunming, the Fairbanks wrote to inform them that two essays of Liang were published in America. During the chaos of war, this not only gave their spirits an important boost, but in more practical terms, the foreign currency royalties gave them a brief respite against the surging inflation. But soon after they reached Kunming, Liang fell ill with intense back pain. The soft tissues around his spine hardened. The China Foundation decided to continue funding the Institute for Research in Chinese Architecture, which now had only five members left. Warfare had driven them to the southwest which they hadn't visited in their previous seven years of field research. As soon as they were settled in Kunming, these scholars, inseparable as they were from their work, planned another field trip to examine ancient architecture in the area. This was the last field trip for the Institute. This expedition started in September 1939 and ended in February 1940, taking half a year to finish. During this time, the war entered its period of greatest hardship. The scholars from the Institute, traveling amid the incoming flow of refugees, kept with them special passports issued by the Chongqing government. On Liang's was written, Liang Sicheng, member of the Institute for Research in Chinese Architecture, age 39. Hometown, Xinhui County, Guangdong, issued to allow for the investigation of ancient architecture. The bearer should be allowed passage upon verification of his identity. This research trip in the southwest at the end of the 1930s secured a batch of precious data for the study of Chinese architectural history. It left images and photos of relics of ancient architecture, as well as urban life of 50 years ago. Why did you not realize that there were so many 
一个是他很早的时候就就公布为文保护单位了，国家开始，所以还有一个当地的百姓呢，他对那个还是有一定的信仰。The invaders pressed forward on all fronts. After taking central China, the Japanese army blockaded marine transportation channels in order to cut off all possible external support. Japan boasted of ending the war in China within half a year. But, determined to secure international aid and military materials, China managed to build a thousand-kilometer-long highway connecting Yunnan and Burma in just nine months. Through this transfusion line, strategic materials poured into Kunming from Burma, turning Kunming into a distribution hub. Soon, the city became a new target for Japanese bombardment, thus part of the front lines of the war. Dear, dearer, and dearest Wilma and John, I wish to have a troop of secretaries and efficient typewriting machines clicking. Loud enough to drown the air raid alarms, which has been our daily music and menace for the last week now. Don't worry, Wilma. We all managed to take things very calmly. After each raid, we remark like experts and say that it has been a very mild one. We generally become very active right after the raid, as if instinctively try to make up for that loss of life. During the previous hours, you will have to guess what I have gone through during a good part of last year, and how different life have been since. And that I still manage to be thinner every day is no surprise. My temper has grown to make up for loss of body weight. Nature can always do many things. In order to evade the bombing. The institute moved to Longtou Village on the outskirts of Kunming, together with other research institutes of Academia Sinica that had fled to the southwest region. These images from Longtou Village, taken by archaeologist Xu Zhongru, have been preserved at the Institute of History and Philology of Academia Sinica in Taiwan. Fu Xinyan, director of the institute. Emphasized the value of photography in research. A photograph from an archaeological dig or ethnographic study, he said, contained more knowledge than thousands of words of description. A decade earlier, the Institute of History and Philology initiated the remarkable excavation of the Yin ruins. In its wartime flight, the Institute of History and Philology took with it dozens of cases of precious books and more than a thousand boxes of excavated relics. These materials supported the ongoing work of the Institute for Research in Chinese Architecture, despite its small scale and limited resources. As a result, the architecture scholars. Closely followed the Institute of History and Language throughout the war. With urban expansion, this small village, which once lay outside the edge of Kunming, is now part of the city itself. Seventy years ago, Longtou Village once housed a multitude of top Chinese academic institutes and master scholars. 今天没卡到杯吧？什么杯子？你你给他顶着了。哦，什么杯啊？那个标志杯的，万用标志杯啊、哦，就是有这个，你看有这个国旗叫挂东旗嘛，现在旗花一下来就爬东旗，标志杯在上面。The scholars who moved here during the war either rented houses or started to build their own to prepare for long-term residence. This courtyard here in Longtou Village was sealed up for years. Surrounded by new buildings put up by the villagers, the owner of this courtyard, who lives in the city, gets invited by the Cultural Relic Administration once in a while to come back to receive visitors like us. One of the homes in his courtyard remains the only residence 
that the two architectural scholars, Liang and Lin, designed and built for themselves in their entire lives. Chinese 万物这个东西不可再生的,你把车子就车,这个地方很多啊真的是,很多小我们家这种房子,都是切两年左右是不开门也进不来。A few years ago, this owner, like other villagers, built a new modern building in the courtyard, and planned to demolish the old house once the new one was finished. In 2003, the old house was designated by the city 